Hey guys, S. Dudley here. After heaps of requests, I'm going to be doing a two-part advanced tutorial on how I made my subboard and chatbot for my 24-7 live stream. What I will not be teaching you in this series is how to code, program, or script. You're going to need to know how to do that beforehand. In part one, I'll be covering what tools you can use to connect with the YouTube API to get the information you need for the live sub counts for any channel and the title and current thumbnail of any channel. In part two, I'll do how to read any live chat and how to post from an account into live chat. Firstly, what you'll need to do is if you don't already have a YouTube API key, is head over to the developers console and sign up with your Google account for YouTube app key. Once you have a project set up, make sure it has the YouTube data API version three enabled. If it doesn't, do the following. From the dashboard, click enable API, search for the YouTube data API version three and click on it. Up the top, you should be able to click enable. Now you should be ready for the basics of accessing the YouTube API to gather sub counts, titles, and thumbnails. All API calls are done via web queries. If you're not sure how to do get or post requests in your scripting language, learn how to do that first and then come back to this part of the video. For example, to get a channel's sub count, first find its channel ID. This is mine on screen. Uh, then you can access the channels section of the YouTube API by the link below and use using the statistics part of the ID parameter, you should be able to return a JSON file from the web query. Before implementing this in your code, you can try it out in your web browser. All the YouTube API um, have, a, have this execute thing on the side. Um, for authorized requests, you'll have to sign in with your Google account um, and it'll let you try out the request and see what sort of response you'll be able to get. As you can see here, this is what I get with mine. Um, and you can see the subscriber count down here. That's the value you'll need to look for in your script when you're reading the return JSON file. Before I go any further, something to keep in mind is the YouTube API quota. Each request you make to the YouTube API has a cost associated with it. The cost is different depending on which section of the API you are accessing. However, the standard seems to be three points for one API call. It's happened a few times where my subboard has stopped working. This was due to me hitting the daily limit of 1 million requests. You can view how you're tracking with the quota back at the developer's dashboard. I'll put a link down below. Now, much the same as we did to get the live sub count from the YouTube API, to get the channel's title and thumbnail, again, use the channel section of the API, but instead use the snippet part with the ID parameter. If you test it in your web browser, it should look something like this. As you can see, the title is here under the snippet in the return JSON file. The thumbnails have their own object where you can choose default, medium, or high quality image. Um, download the picture from the provided link. By now, you should be able to get the YouTube live sub counts, titles, and thumbnails for any channel using their channel ID. In the next part of this tutorial, I'll show you how to read chat for your live stream and how to post as yourself in the live chat as well. I hope this tutorial has been useful for you guys. Please leave a like and subscribe down below. Um, I am a bit sick at the moment, so hopefully you can understand me all right. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below as well, and I'll try and answer your questions in the next part of this tutorial. Thanks, guys.